Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be wrapping up our budget build series for the Rakdos Aristocrats deck. Uh, we are playing the non-budget or fully tuned version. Um, so with this series, if you're new to it, we took a starting point of just commons and uncommons in a deck, and then made it a bit mid-budget, where it was about 12 rares added to the deck and now we're playing the fully tuned i'll do a full write-up after this on the arena subreddit so you can check it out there all the thoughts uh, for what cards went in what cards didn't and you can check everything out there we've done this for a number of decks already uh, so aristocrats for those who are new or just tuning into this video is a theme where you sacrifice your creatures for value um, so in this particular build here, um, this is the fully tuned version, like I said, and it's pretty much an identical deck list to the deck that Jeff hooglin has been playing on his stream a lot. Uh, he's put a lot of time into this archetype, so I want to put the respect where need be. Uh, Jeff has played this to Mythic already, and he's been playing it in the Mythic Championship qualifiers, so I want to take advantage of the resource there that he's put together such thought uh, into this. Um, the only variation I have from Jeff's list to mine is Jeff is playing three uh, Bantus and three Chandras. I've just opted to go like this, partially because I don't have a third Bantu and just trying to conserve some wild cards for the rest of the build series. Um, and then going through the deck itself, I mentioned in the other videos, I only have two Dragon Skull Summits, so just playing basics in, in lieu of this. Um, so the deck itself, what are we adding, what are we playing? So we get two gutter bones in this case, so gutter bones can be retrieved from our graveyard whenever we deal damage to the opponent, so it's a good one drop here. We have sideways monkey, haste 1-1, one, one, that can be sacrificed to deal one damage. We have footlight fiend, uh, same idea, sacrifice to deal damage, or when it dies it deals damage. We have priest, which is a good sack engine, uh, so we any number of players lose two life and sacrifice creature we add two black mana and draw a card so there's the interaction where you can get back gutter bones with this um priest is kind of on my medium i've always had my opinions on it i usually like my unconditional sack outlets that can happen at instant speed uh, we're also adding in rick smotty reveler so this is a card draw for the deck uh, when we trigger spectacle meaning we deal damage to the opponent uh, we can draw uh, three cards instead of just looting. Uh, we're also adding Dreadhorde Butcher. So whenever it deals damage to a player or a planeswalker, you put 1-1 one, one counters on it, and when it dies, it deals damage equal to its power uh, to any creature. We have the Mask, which can be served as a sack outlet. We have three Judith. Um, in the mid-budget, I actually had four. Um, probably advised not doing four then. I'll put it in my write-up as well. Uh, that was The mid-budget was my full-own creation. Um, looks like Jeff's playing three, but worst case, you have four. Judas aren't too bad in multiples because they you can just cast them, and then with the legendary rule on the stack, it deals two damage. Uh, we have Mayhem Devil. Uh, whenever, we, whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, uh, Mayhem Devil deals one damage to any target, so plays very well in our deck. We have two Tibolds, uh, which we've been playing. Whenever it create, stops the life gain, also creates the 1-1s. One uh, we have Chandra, which we're basically just playing for the create two hasty elementals in the main board. Uh, post board, we can flash back if we need to, uh, some of our removal. And then we have God Eternal Bond 2. So when it enters a battlefield, we could sacrifice any number of other permanents and draw that many cards. And then when it dies or gets exiled, we get to put it back on top of our library third from the top. Um, Jeff also didn't have Memorial to Folly. I like having it in, but we'll see how it goes. Sideboard uh, hits a little bit different here. So we still have the Duress. We have Shock on the side, Lava Coil on the side, another Tybalt. Uh, and then uh, it's a little bit more Planeswalker heavy. Uh, so versus Control, when they bring in uh, more board wipes, we can play into Chandra for card advantage, Sarkin to create dragons, and to pressure our opponent quite a bit. So I will play some ranked matches with the deck so you can get a, a feel for it. Um, before we get started, if you can, um, just the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner, it's a free and easy way to show your support to the channel, uh, helps me reach the goals that I need, so YouTube starts to help me out a bit, uh, just to offset some of the costs of cracking packs to do all these build series. Um, I pay everything out of pocket, so it go a long way to help out. I don't really like to pander, so let's play some games. Also, let me know in the comments, too, uh, what decks you've been playing. I, Other than this build series, I've just been on Elementals. I've played Saltai and Teamer Elementals, 
it's my rank deck. Um, like to kind of bridge out uh, if you've been playing Feather or any other kind of cool builds. I saw a Teamer Finale builds that brings out like Zakama and Zatalpa, I think, or whatever they're called. Uh, so we can't keep this hand. Uh, it's a little bit slower, but we'll keep this. Gonna put back. Uh, I'm gonna fake like this, like we have a shock. Uh, if they play an elf, we're gonna play out mask. Yeah. I'm doing this to be mana efficient. If you can take out the elf on turn one, you usually want to. It slows down their play. They might have kept a hand that's more contingent. Okay, so this is Gruel. Uh, just create these. Could have played Priest, maybe. That made more sense, because with the haste. So we'll see if they plus here. It's a very awkward draw that we've had. It doesn't cost anything to block here. Dinosaurs? Usually don't see Thorn Lieutenant in the dinosaur decks. Okay, so we hit a land, which is pretty good. My friend is here to help you. So I'm gonna do this, so that way they have to kill Domri in order to be able to fight. Let's see what the opponent does here. So that gets, in a way, that kind of gets rid of Domri. Obviously would have liked to have the Priest alive. If they play Ripjaw Raptor, it's going to be tough for us to deal with main board. Oh, second Domri. Okay, so it is dinos. We've pretty much lost this game. Just want to see what other cards they come out with. They can very easily get some uh, big creature. Yeah, okay, so we've seen enough. So this is probably a harder matchup with the trample. Um, and this matchup. Don't think shot so lava coils are good. Um, do we want to go up to Sarkin? They're gonna bring in more removal, likely. So, da, 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 da. do we want to get rid of the priests? Hmm. 
They're probably not as good here. Just go big like this. Try out with the priests. Dinos is probably tough, but we'll try it out. We will try it out. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, this hand's a lot more aggressive. Keep six. Gonna put a land back. Everything in our hands, one or two mana, so. We'll keep that. So I'm going to lead off with the Gutter Bones. Kind of hope they don't have the... Okay, so they commune here. The Elf, they may be incentivized to block Dreadhorde Butcher. And then Missing is nice. We also have two one drops next turn. So we might be able to out aggro them this Ah. That sucks. Let's see if they block here. Three toughness is surprisingly good. Spellbreaker. Land. Okay, so we got the lava coil. We'll attack in again. I want to try to get Judith out. So why we're attacking in here is if they block the two, we can hit it with the Firebrand. Probably could have attacked with Footlight Fiend as well, because it would have blocked, targeted, and then we attacked. They would have got two one ones, but that was fine. We need Judith. Da, 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 da. Not tax this turn. We'll just set up the priest. Be great if we could get Judith down. Well, we can get it down regardless if they don't kill priest. Ah, crap. So this will minus and then uh, fight our priest. What do you do? Distribute two one one counters, they gain trample on the end of turn. Finally. So we're gonna attack in first. Question is, do we want to sack this to deal damage there? Oh, we can just ping here, ping there, ping there. Oh no, we screwed up the order that we lost two damage that way. Oops. <laughs> It's actually the first time playing with Dreadhorde. OK, 
Okay, so I can use the lava coil there. Another Judith? No. So I'm just gonna bring this back. They're getting to the point where even blocking's not advantageous to them. Yeah, they're going defensive here. Not attacking with this because that guarantees a point of damage. So we have four damage here. Second Montasaur. Okay, Lava Coil doesn't make a, much of a difference. They're dead now. Nope, they see the error in their mistakes. So I think they're dead regardless. Come on. Let me sack. Got him. All right. So that was a nice aggressive start by us. They had to play defensive dinos. Um, so here on the play, Sarkin could still make some big stuff, but maybe we go down Sarkin's for Chandra's. Do we want the mask? Maybe no mask. Just play big. Let's try that out. All right, nice and aggressive. We got Ju Dreadhorde into Judith. That's uh, that's what we call a curve, kiddos. Mm. So here might just want to go Rick's Mahdi. Discard the blood crypts. Okay, lava coil's good there. That's nice because it gives us another play. So I can probably go Judith next turn. No blocks. Uh let's go aggressive. fine with that. That keeps them off uh, getting more dinos out. Cool. So 
So we can sack this and deal three damage. So we can kill this. One there, one there. And we pretty much neutered their board here and have some nice cards in play. So they're incentivized to block the Dread Horde here. But we get three damage on them. And we got Priest out. So Priest does two, plus the Sack is another two, plus another two, so we have him dead just on the, the priest trigger. All right, took him down, Dinos. What do we get? Cerulean Drake. Run it back for one more here. See, love us some dorky mid range decks. Uh, no, no, if we had a, a second black source, that'd be great. Oh man, okay, okay, so don't want Bond to don't want Tybalt. It's very awkward. Just gonna concede game one here. This is vampires. We're not gonna come from it, so I don't want him to be able to see what we're playing. Uh, so we're bringing in all the removal here. Uh, probably cut down a Chandra. Maybe Priest is actually not that good in this matchup because they usually go wide. Cut down two Priests. Mask isn't bad. Uh, Gutter Bones also doesn't do much here. And we'll go down to one Priest. Priest isn't good against go wide strategies, so they'll here have like um, the legions landing, stuff like that. So kind of just dorks. Okay, so not the best, but we'll keep this. We can, depending on how aggressive we need to be, go coil into either Judith or Tybalt. Tybalt's actually pretty good against the incidental life gain this deck has. Oh, this might be mono black. We need to exile a card from our hand. Uh... Mayhem Devil. All right, so drawing the line kind of sucks there. It's not expecting that, so we misjudge game one. These are surprisingly good. Uh, 
Uh, here. No attacks. We can start picking these off. If we draw land, we can bond to. They also have the shields down, so they can't pump. Uh, let's poke in with one. We'll take that. Bring out Mayhem Devil. Dread Presence. So we'll get rid of that. Second Mayhem Devil. So I'm going to do this to see if they want to trade. Cavalier of Night. So just hit our opponent there. We'll just pass the turn. So we're turning off the life gain. It's fine. Duress won't do anything. They can also attack in. We can block and sack. So we're going to deal the damage here and deal the damage here, turns off their card draw, they'll get one card out of it. Okay. Here, we'll attack with both. We're really a, a land away from going off. So just attacking with the two. Actually, that was wrong. We should have just not attacked to get the sack. We also have the flashback lava coil. Just hit them, don't want to give them card draw. <sighs> Your elemental knights. Okay, dread horde. Um, so we can Dread Horde, that gets blocked here, we deal damage there, minus one to Lava Coil. Might be the best play.
Or we can just keep doing this. Thank you. Liliana's minus is actually pretty disin disadvantageous. Even uh, her both her minuses, so they need to somehow kill the mayhem devil. Are they just dead? Yeah, they just killed themselves. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, so, Tybalt is better than we think. Could get rid of the mask. Um, priest, maybe? Or this is a grindier matchup. So maybe... Let's go up Big Chandra. Run it like that. Maybe go down this, play Big Chandra. Oh, are we short a card? All right, let's go. Let's play the one priest. I might be it might be wrong to take out the priests, but now that they know that we have creatures, they're more inclined to likely have some sort of removal for it. This is a mono black like mid range. We'll keep this. Chandra's card advantage. I'm just gonna hold off attacking here. So Knight of Eben can start getting bigger. I think we just get rid of this now. We can play Chandra out next turn, start getting that card advantage going. Tap like this. So this is actually a, probably the best draw we could have gotten. You sack there. You deal damage there, and then Dreadhorde gets attack in. Now we can start Chandraing. It's unfortunate. I'm okay to trade here. See if they decide to attack into Chandra. Nah. They're gonna get some great value off lines going forward. Yep. You read what she does. Um, I think I go Chandra this turn. No attacks. Hit for two.
Because next turn I can use it as card draw with Bantu. Ah, that's actually pretty rough. This deck's got some legs to it. No blocks. Drop down a butcher. That's fine. Gets rid of both these Yark enforcers. We can also ultimate Chandra next turn. Deal seven draws us seven cards. Those exiles have been pretty solid for them. Get with Chandra. I think we lost this one. Yeah. Alright. Gonna concede this one. So that's a demo of the deck. We played a couple good matches there. Um, probably misplayed a little on that second one. Maybe conceded a little too quick. But I just wanted to demo the deck there. I will do the write-up on Reddit. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And if you can, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great one.